Charlie, you come in and eat bread with me. I will all link up in the same class for me ever since. Before Shorty passed away, one of the time with them, they know what we need to do. Because I've been doing football from 1991. And he said to me, yeah man. And at that same time, he passed away. The same January I'm talking to him, is the same January he passed away. In 2007, Lloyd Baga Stewart took on the mammoth task of staging a football tournament to honor the legacy of iconic Jamaica national footballer and former Rossi's High School Dacosta Cup star, Steve Shorty Malcolm. A sturdy, hard-running defender, Shorty Malcolm was a key part of Jamaica's team in its first and only World Cup in France back in 1998. Steve Shorty Malcolm is Jamaica's little giant on the road to France. This hard-running, hard-tackling footballer sees himself as a utility player in both defense and midfield. Most people say, why Steve Malcolm this and Steve Malcolm that too. Really, he's not a player with the flares and the popping and so forth. He's a more kind of, what you're saying, hard poor baller. Shorty, who was a close friend of Stewart's while they were students at Rossi's, died in January 2001 from injuries he sustained in a car accident along the Spring Hill Main Road in Trelawney. In um, 20, well, 2008 or 2007? 2007. Right, you started this shorty, Steve Shorty, Steve Malcolm, Malcolm. Denton Melody, yeah. Samuels um, football competition. Tell us about why you decided to do something like that and how it has impacted Lucy. You know, sir, before Shorty passed away, guys, that's what I said, let me go through that. Charlie come in at 8th grade with me and we all link up in the same class from ever since. He did have a love for Rusty's too, but my love went kind of stem even deeper. And when I time with them, I said, you know what we need to do? Because like I've been doing football from 1991. So I said, you know what, we need to do something Charlie because we make it already. We need to do it. And he said to me, yeah man, we need to do something. We you like what? What's your Football and a whole. Produce some different type of football in our number. Because I was doing mine. Plus, he doing his, his thing, you know what I mean, and say yes. And at that same time, he passed away. The same January I'm talking to him, is the same January he passed away. And he was one of my close, close combat. Enough people talk about him, but me and me on a different kind of scale, you know. Because we two rule and I see him star, so you know, we're already, I'm just three, I'm just two weeks away different from him. You know what I mean, so that was it. That was a love. You get where I come from. And he said yes. And then when he passed away, the same year, I start, you know what? I've got to do something in his name, too, you know what I mean? And that's where it starts from. Steve Shard, Malcolm, and then Tell Melod Samuel. Then Tell Melod Samuel's coming after, you know what I mean? But Steve Shard, Malcolm first. With the Lord's football field in Lucy as its base, the number of teams in most cases averaged around 20 and was usually held over a three-week period in a knockout format. Scores of young men from communities across the town of Lucy and its outskirts would trek to the football field at the foot of Malcolm Heights to play their hearts out on Sundays and Wednesdays. Among the teams which turned out each December were Prosper, Houghton Gardens, HQ, Johnson Town, Malcolm Heights, Church Street, Bursit Football Club and Central FC. The Lucy Police, Hanover Fire Department and the Taxi Association were also huge contenders in the tournament as were clubs from Kew, Esher, Chambers Pen, Askinish, Jew Hill and as far away as Friendship. Right, so you have a lot of people who used to turn up, like a thousand, thousands yeah. to, and people come from Montague and Everywhere. so on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I went try to kind of put a thing together for you. not just one community, for the whole and over. Because sometimes you have 24 teams in it. Sometimes 28 have to chop it down sometimes. But it benefits because Sunday like now, you know at least, you know how it's still right out there, chuck a block, you know what I mean? People from even the Premier League come and play in the league. You get where I come from. People come from different, different divisions just to come and play to just support. Do what them can do, you know what I mean? Because that is just a love. And whatever I'm doing, 
I try to do it the best of my ability. You spent your own resources, you pumped a lot of funds into the competition and so on, which made the young youngsters very happy and so forth. How important do you think football is to Lucy and to Hanover in terms of getting the young people to work together with friends and so forth? You start from grassroots. And if you don't start like the younger age them, I make the younger ones them see what's going on. Because if you don't do it in kind of way, then it gonna cause problem. You know what I mean? So we try to fit put in as much as I make them see how I'm doing it. That it's not benefiting me, not benefiting you just benefit the community. And that was my main goal, to keep people together. Because unity is strength for me. I just want to know that I'm representing the country and doing my best. As a defender, going up against the spiritual, you cannot take your ass back. You have to run down a man, you have to run down a man and tackle a man. You don't care how you tackle a man, but you just have to run down and tackle him. Like, you know, some acrobatic thing or what. I don't know what those things for me. Uh, hardcore baller, well, to me, that means running for the 90 minutes in the game. Because some ballers, as what I'm saying, some most ballers with skill and so forth, they don't really run for 90 minutes. You understand? So with a player with my caliber now, you know that I don't really have the whole of a skill and thing and thing. I mostly, the mostly tackle him, make sure that the midfield compact. So from 1994, you come out every year to do all of these what? things? Every year I come to try to do a community thing. Football I've been doing for the longest time. That is when I'm corner league, from the little corner league right back to the main corner league. I just one of the most outstanding. Me can say it and people tell me that. I was trying to do my best with the league them. And them what? I feel proud to know I can walk through those and a man can say, oh, Baba, when? When you go put on the next one? Even a little one. Because in life, when I put the things together, I still decide to want to let it go. So we have more than a pipeline here because at night time we don't sleep, you know. I think about everything we can do in the best possible way, you know. So you're going to see something coming soon, but I'm not asking for the little youth. We just have to make people happy, make everybody come together and happy. Gathering, organize, work and organize in the best possible way. And when you do it, don't do it for money, just do it for love. How does it make you feel? Like, um, I remember one year when I went to the, the Charlotte Malcolm competition and Prosper and Hart and God went to the finals and Prosper lose and the man them are almost out like they're ready for ball like I said, a World Cup. <laughs> How? Does it make you feel when they say when they say the importance that these young people attach to the competition? Because them them they have like say uh, uh, um, at the national premier league them there. Yeah, tell me, the joy for me, I'll tell you too, is to see people together and then gravitate in a way and the passion. They get me come from because the passion and the passion go always come out to be love. They get me come from. Before I started overseas, that was the year that Lincoln Swat was leaving. The year they just said, Steve Malcolm, you're going to have to play around this one, one evening with their training. And from that evening, I'm going to look back until now. <laughs>